This is a question for my panel speakers, and I would request this question to, to be taken by Mr. Mukesh. So I'll read out the question. And a part of it we have just touched that with the access to AI tools and the democratized data, how does the war for talent in the age of AI looks? Can AI blend well with the human intelligence? Well, there is still so much that is incredibly important with regard to the gut feel and the culture fit of talent. Okay, the real question over here is, Mukesh, that while the AI has this power to you know, look at all the profiling of the CVs that is coming, how does it truly really draw a balance between the intelligence and the ability of the hiring manager when they rely on the gut, as the jackal said it, you know, from the gut, the decision making and the culture fit? Can AI give a solution over here? Is that possible? Very good question. So there are three types of hiring we normally do. One of them is probably very at the junior level, where we would just want somebody to come and do it. Second one is more skill based, where we want a skill expert. And then evaluation has to be done from the skill. But more important, which, which has the biggest impact, a very small number, but biggest impact, is a senior leadership. And that's the place where I would still say gut, feels, gut plays a very good role. I've been working on some of the R&D, uh, some uh, development of some of the algorithm to be able to see how best we can empower the decision maker. Uh, in addition to the gut, what else you can find out? For example, cultural fit. I was interviewed a few years back for a role uh, before joining Capgemini for a role in Noida. Senior, I'm not going to name the company, but very good company. All of them, everything was cleared and everything. The hiring manager kept saying, that, Mukesh, I'm still not sure you are from Mumbai, you have worked in outside India and all. I'm still not sure whether you'll be able to be comfortable moving to Delhi. Or I was not planning to move. I told him I will be working remote. But working with people from Noida, Delhi region would be a different thing. Okay? I don't think AI can identify those very well. At least not now, unless we train the model with those. So definitely, there are three elements we have to bring in. The AI can actually look at it and then uh, ignore some of the bias we may have regarding the gaps, especially gaps with some of the, for some of the females where they, they, they take into family, right? And those gaps, sometimes people take it negatively, which is really bad. So those bias humans have, which we definitely can eliminate. At the same time, there is, the research has shown that people hiring senior level, senior leadership people, they will try to hire people of their similar type. Now, type it can be different, different models are there and all, right? Type, uh, I'm not promoting any one of the two models. But yes, people will try, like, like the person should be like me, the person should be aggressive like me or something. And very few people will come to say, no, I want to have somebody who can compliment me, right? So definitely those things are there. But if you put all of them as a requirement, then you'll get a person like that. But AI will not be able to recommend that is this senior position, how we can, uh, uh, which type of person will be right suitable for you. I think those are the places where I still think a human gut will play a big role. AI can assist them to narrow down the profile. Find out the people who have done these, these, these kind of things from their profile and then give me the list. They can do that manual job first. But after that, interviewing them, 10 people, selecting one, still have to be from gut, I would say. Any perspectives from fellow speakers? Yeah, I think I can go back to my first slide that human is not a resource. And if we use human as a resource, then there was no gut feel in the past also. Uh, because if we are just blaming AI that AI may not give us the gut feel, the humans being used as a resource also never had a gut feel. They just did a transactional job. So in future, AI will not replace humans, but AI will replace people who don't use AI. So the gut feel still plays a role. Gut feel still will be most important. What AI is going to help is to improve productivity and give assistance on areas where we may not remember everything. One of the, and that's the reason I covered in my presentation how the transformer works, that it is being trained on a historic data and not every individual human can remember a magnitude of information we have. So AI can assist in increasing productivity. Gut feel is still a human work and will remain till this earth in existence.